What's up, family? So, tonight's video is for my boys that are doing life. You know, some of us don't celebrate Christmas because of our religion or whatnot, but it's always beautiful to see the things that are going on around us. You know, uh, two of my partners that I talk to on a regular basis, that I could get all the horror stories you guys want, real shit, uh, are doing all day, you know, and they don't get to see any of this stuff unless they see it on TV or whatever. And I happen to know that they watch the channel, you know, I happen to know because they've got input on sometimes is what I'm allowed to say and what I'm not allowed to say. So with that said, I'm also going to be doing a video where uh, a partner of mine, he's doing three life sentences for three murders that I know for a fact he wasn't involved in, you know, he didn't, he wouldn't open his mouth. Um, and as a result of that, that's what he's doing. Three life sentences, you know, I, all his appeals are washed up to the best of my knowledge. Um, I love him with all my heart, you know, um, the other one, uh, he's just a, a hustler all the time. They're both in the game because they have to be, you know, when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. Uh, just thought I'd throw a shout out to D Major, let you guys check out the new shirts, you know. Um, man, we take so much for granted out here. Yeah, and I did a video last night letting you guys know that how gratitude is something that I need to stay into. And I'm not always into it and it, it affects everything around me, you know, because I still have that penitentiary thinking. You know, I don't come on here and try and do annex where it's all better be carving a motherfucker machine gun. I'm not putting anything out there, but I'm just saying I'm not out here trying to promote that at all. What I'm trying to promote is this freedom. You get to stay out here. You get to spend with your family. Even even Christmas is the most horrid time for me. You know, um, D majors, good looking out, my boy. Nothing but respect. You know. Uh, you, you came up with the design uh, using you and your wife. I want to thank you guys so much, you know, um, getting that Christmas gift in early, huh? So, you know, I got the grandkids and stuff, so I have to participate. That's what I do have to do. That's what I do get to do. My bad. Let me rephrase that. That's what I do get to do, you know, and for that, I'm grateful. Um, I remember that there were so many times that at Christmas time inside I would get so bummed out because I knew I wasn't going to hear from anybody. I knew nothing was going on that I could participate in. The only thing I knew that I had to look forward to was a dinner. A dinner, you know, because I'm not going to lie. They, the, the little, the little uh, processed turkey that they serve you and all that stuff it's, it's, it's a little better than the standard crap that they feed us, you know? So I'm having a hard time with the glasses, trying to figure out how to use the, wear the glasses on a regular basis. Also, you know, more... There's a, on, the, on, the, on the back of each shirt, there's... Let me also show... I'm also, you know, I, I told you guys I was planning on doing the girl's bed. I still am. Um... Can you guys see it? <clears throat> so, you know, go to check out Teespring and use uh, Badger's Badger as the redemption code or whatever. You guys get a certain percentage off of anything that you guys may order. So, um, listen, if you have somebody that you haven't been in contact with for a while, you're holding the grudge, whatever. They may not be here, man. They may not be here, you know. Uh, take a second, reach out. It's called an amends, man. Make some amends. Put some correction in your life. And set aside your pride and ego, you know, uh, because that's what's in your way all the time. That's what's going to prevent you from getting the things that you want and hanging with the people that you want to hang with. Um, life's good, you know. So, huh? Are you kidding? About what? Charming Charlie's? Oh, I couldn't tell you for oh, sure. Be <laughs> it's a, it looks like it's closed. See, you got ladies out here shopping and whatnot. And oh, now no, their no, disappointment. No, <laughs> you know? no, no. So it was nice. So, so much for Charming Charlie's. Anyway, 
See, everybody's in a good mood out here, man. That is not something that you get to experience inside. Nobody's ever, ever in a good mood. They're always in a foul mood. And they're always plotting and praying. And it's spelled P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, not P-R-A-Y-I-N-G. That's for the Christian car, and you better be running Christian if that's what you're doing. So I wanted to throw this up. I'm going to throw out my homeboys mailing information and he you know he's a lifer he's looking for a wife you know he's a good looking cat he's looking for a wife so maybe somebody could get at him pen pal wise and you know if you feel like offering up some of that good good i'm sure he'd be happy to oblige you know um he's a pretty handsome stud big old fella you know uh, you know that penitentiary body so um guys like i said please Get out of your own way, man. Get out of your own way. Quit putting, you know, quit being the foulness that goes on around here. And it's hard sometimes. I know it's hard because I participated in it on a regular basis still sometimes. I'll be like, this asshole won't get out of my way. And Harry would be like, is that really how you want things to be? You know? Um, the worst is probably with Miss Harriet that I, I act around. It was probably with Miss Harriet, you know? I, uh, I don't always act right with her you know, and she has to remind me from time to time, or I have to remind her, you know, where even people that haven't been to the institutions, they still get foul in their head and they, they get whatever, you know, create fights. And I don't want to be involved in all that fighting shit anymore, man. I've been fighting my whole life and I'm tired of it. You know, um, thank you, Dwayne. You know, thank you, AJ. Thank you, Big Herc. You know, Aunt, thank you. You know, I don't know if I say it enough to people, man. I just want to say thank you. Um, like I said, even though I don't really participate in Christmas too much, I do. You know, um, like I said, I got the grandkids. I got, you know, a sons. I got, you know, people that do all this stuff. And generally, I'm not invited. You know, I haven't been being invited. And, you know, I thought I was okay with it. But now that I'm getting, coming on, you know, now that life is catching up and uh, every day is valuable. I didn't think of that when I was young. Every day is valuable, but then I think about how many youngsters aren't making it to the age that I'm at today. You know, how many people are being put in the ground every single day behind a poor decision, behind uh, a fix, behind getting loaded, um, whatever the case may be. These kids are just getting put in the ground on a regular basis and it's a sad, sad thing, you know. Parents should not bury their kids. You know, it's just how it is. You know, um, and I'm gonna work on saying you know so much, guys. I, I need some some uh, vo vocal classes. So anyway, like I told you, I was gonna go uh, to the school today. It's Jan January 27th, school starts. Um, I'm gonna go down and take care of all that stuff uh, next Monday. I, I've got everything figured out what I plan on doing and maybe things will change when I get there. Maybe I'll find a different course, you know? I don't wanna spend all day every day in school, but because uh, on the days that I'm called to work, please, Odin, please let it happen soon. I call every day to get into this damn job. And I called 10 minutes early today to see if I could get through. They're all, all probationaries have to call at five o'clock. Sure, should I call right at five o'clock? Because last time I usually put in about 215 to 240 calls before I finally get through every single day. But that's determination and that's perseverance and that's following through. And that's what we all need to do. Every single one of us need to do that if we want to get anywhere in life, you know? It's, it doesn't feel like it's gonna pay off today. It feels like a radio station, like I'm trying to win a day's work. You know, and that's basically what it is. But you know what? I'm grateful for that. And um, I'm grateful for the things I get to be around today, you know, um, that my boys don't, you know. A phone call from them is a slap of reality to me, you know what I mean? When they say, oh, you know, three dudes got whacked it as soon as yard was un uh, open today. As soon as we came off lockdown, immediately the three dudes got whacked. You know, that was one of the last stories I heard. And, you know, it wasn't our race, but 
that's how things are based in there is by race for those of you that don't understand California. I know I've been bringing you outside institutions, uh, other penitentiaries from other states, and that's because I want everyone to know that the violence that occurs in California is two thirds the amount. You know, nine, nine correctional officers every single day are assaulted in some way, shape, or form in California. You know what I mean? We have two-thirds more murders than any other state, and it's not the place to be. You think you're rough now, you're tough, you know what I mean? Most of you are rough, tough Cocoa Puffs anyway, you know? You, get, you have somebody else get in your face and see what, you want to do what, and then all of a sudden they pee on themselves. You know, they ain't as tough as they think they are. And then there's those that just, you guys, set your friggin' ego aside, man. Please, go get a job, any job to begin with. Okay, you can get what you want from there. Be employed as you're seeking employment, you know. For those of you that are looking out for me, nothing but love and respect, man, and I appreciate it. And I assure you that it's going, it's being paid forward. You know, definitely it's doing that. And you know what else is paying forward to me? I get to feel this inside. I get to feel okay on a daily basis inside. And that's all any of us really want. It's all we really want. Those trolls that want to stay in the pit and try and pull us back down, you're not gonna, I got baby oil on my legs just like I would in the cell when I'm getting ready to do a cell extraction. Baby oil, shampoo, lotion all over the floor. Let's just get busy, you know what I mean? That's how cell extraction is done. And you're still gonna get the crap knocked out of you. You know, I hated mandatory cell extractions and tear floods. You know, sitting in a hole and, and, and it would, the guy, the shot caller, would, whatever the key holder would call it, say, you know what, mandatory flooding cells today. And it was mandatory, man. So you'd strip down to your boxers and put lotion all over you, baby oil all over you, put it all over your floors so that they're slipping and sliding when they come in. And you just get busy. You know, you're gonna get pummeled, I promise you that. And you're gonna, you're gonna spend the next two weeks, like the last one I was in, it took me six weeks to breathe correctly again. I couldn't sneeze, cough, or fart without my ribs just killing me. So I don't live that way today. You know, I'm trying to pay forward and be kind to the next individual and teach the next man that it's not the place to go. So I know a lot of you guys are interested just to be interested. You have a family member inside. You have, you know, a, an uncle, a cousin, a brother. And a lot of you guys, as soon as they get out, he's the cool guy. Well, let me assure you, the cool guy is the guy that gets up every morning, goes to work and earns a living and pays for his family to be provided for. In my eyes today, I wish I was that man back then. You know, I wasn't. All that time gone, you know, just wasted. So, you know, and, and my boys that I'm talking about, the rest of their lives are gone. Their, his daughter is moving on. She's about, she, she, I, I'm not gonna discuss his family, but his whole family is moving forward and he doesn't get to see it except through a telephone. Fortunately, he has that most of the time, I don't know. If he's that high up to where they really don't fuck with him about the phone or what, but he's pretty consistently got a phone when everyone else seems to be losing their phones. Um, I was thinking of having him do a sheet around his face and do an interview from inside, but he doesn't think that his celly would be cool with that because uh, he might be about something, you know, he might be somebody, and I don't really want to talk on that. But that's why, you know, we haven't done it thus far. Um, because I would like to get his picture out there for you ladies, you know, to be getting at my boy. He needs some company, man, for sure, you know. Uh, you guys want real questions answered, he's got them, you know what I mean? You hit me up, if I don't know what's going on today, I make a phone call, you know what I mean? I find out, what I find out, that's why I tell you, tell me what you guys want to know, and I'll find it out, you know what I mean? How many people are on the hard candy list for the ride? A whole bunch of them. You know what I mean? How many people are no good from war? A whole bunch of them. You know what I mean? Like there's just, the hard candy list is not the place to be. You know what I mean? You don't want to be in the hat, guys. And the majority of the people that go in the hat are behind a puck of tobacco, a shot of dope. Um, you know, they got into a little debt that they couldn't hustle and thought they could pay it or just the dope fiend came at them and they wanted that bag right then and there and now they're in the hat. 
You know, that's how it goes. That's what's going on with all these people. So listen, I had to come down to the mall just to get this big old Christmas tree shot in here for, you know, my boy. I just had to do it. I was sitting there thinking about him and it just broke my heart, you know, and I wanted him to know that I'm happy that I got to take you to the concert. Thank you for the tickets. Um, you know I do whatever I can for you. Uh, wow, nothing but love and respect to you, dog. You know what I mean? And I miss our time together. Um, don't take this personally, but I hope we don't get to spend time together <laughs> in person um, anymore unless you're able to get out because I'm not looking forward to ever going back, dog. I don't know that I could transform back to who I had to be back then. So or who you have to be today, because I know what a good heart you got, my boy, and I know what a vengeful person you could be when you're in, where you're at, you know? I mean, I know you got a good heart, and I know that you, you're doing things that you don't want to do today, you know? And you act like you enjoy them, but I know you don't. So, don't get mad at me for putting that out there, you know what I mean? But I got nothing but love for you, and you know, the other boy, he seems to have lost his phone quite often. He loses his phone and, you know, uh, maybe he's not high enough up on the list and not get his shit taken. So, uh, by the police, I mean, I don't know how, they, how they're working the man, you know what I mean? Because the man's always usually working for us and maybe he's not in that part, part of the, I don't know, guys. But anyway, uh... Thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for another shot at hearing what I've got to say. Check out our new apparel. Use Badger as your promo code and you get a percentage off. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff on there. Well, I think it's cool, you know what I mean? And I appreciate the platform once again. Keep your ass out of the institutions. Don't be drinking and driving. Don't be doing any of that ridiculous shit. They got Uber now and it ain't that expensive. Get home safely. Don't kill somebody on the way home and find yourself doing a couple of life sentences that's what my boy is doing behind a drunk driving you know a couple life sentences behind a drunk driving and he wasn't even driving so just makes the right decisions make some right decisions man you know what i mean listen to people like joey from fetters grove and, and you know listen to people that are trying to be on a positive note because not everybody's trying to do it but then when they get into that shitty atmosphere and they're living with the most dangerous of the dangerous they all of a sudden wish that they had listened to somebody and I can tell you that that's my story you know getting stripped out coming out from the gang module sitting down all butt naked out there in the hallway and while they're stripping our cells apart and I, I'm looking at these fools you know like what's going to go down right now is somebody gonna get up cut me you know what I mean like because that's the active activeness of what goes on in there always got a razor blade you know what I mean it's not a way to live, you know, going to visiting with a razor blade in your mouth. Yahoo. You know. Please enjoy the time with your family. Don't be the asshole at the family dinner this year. Welcome those that are that you're mad at, man. Be like, hey, I hope you're doing good. And even if you're not sincere, at least try and feel sincere about it. I guarantee you'll feel better and you won't get as much slack. They'll be great grateful that you came at them that way. So with all that said, I appreciate you once again. Nothing but love and respect. Get at me uh, through the P.O. box. It's in the description. Get at me. You know, PayPal's on there, um, and the P.O. box is on there, and my Gmail is on there. If I can answer any questions for you, realistic questions, I will be happy to do that. Someone asked me about Manson the other day, and I answered his question. He wasn't sure if he was truthfully incarcerated, and I can tell you that he was. You know, I've seen him without his mask and all that. So, you know, he would, he tr when they transfer him to medical or anything like that, he wears a mask because he spits on the, share, on the, on the COs. So he does wear a mask, but he doesn't wear a mask to the shower and all this and that. So he, he definitely was doing time, guys, for those of you that have been wondering. So peace out. You know what I mean? Check out some of our... Woo! Go ahead and push some positivity. And, you know, if you want that negativeness, go ahead and go over to uh, Patreon. Going to be loading it up. 
I'm going to be working it out. Harriet and I are getting ready to sit down and do our first interview just to get me started in the stories. So with that said, love and respect to the entire crowd. Peace out. <laughs>